It's a great day for a drive, especially in a 2023 Expedition Limited Max in Oxford White with the ebony leather interior seating for eight. And this has the Stealth Performance Package as well as twin panel moonroof, power lift gate, power second and third row, heated and cooled front seats, heated seats in the second row, and navigation as well as many more features. If you'd like to take this vehicle out on a test drive, you can book that online at islandford.ca. Stay tuned, we're gonna have a look under the hood and inside and out. This is a 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine paired with a 10 speed automatic transmission and it's a four x four. Let's have a look inside. in the door as well as power locks windows and mirrors you've got the B&O badging for your audio system and memory for three drivers there's carpeted mats with the expedition badging on it and your driver's seat and passenger seat are powered with lumbar you've got this nice red stitching in your seats as well quite comfy and then you have your electronic parking brake power pedals lighting controls you have your seat controls and lift gate control and there's a power deployed running board as well as grab handle that just makes it easier to get in and then on the face of the steering wheel we have our lane keeping cruise control your volume menu hands-free dialing and this is a push start so my foot's on the brake keys in the pocket and we're going to push the engine start stop button so on your dash any important messages your odometer reading and you also have your menu that'll come up so we have the main menu here, my view, trip fuel, vehicle info, towing, navigation, phone, audio, settings, and these all have sub menus. In the center, we've got a little cubby up top with the Beano badging again. And then on our screen right now, we're in sources. So I'm just gonna to touch on there, AM, FM, Sirius satellite radio, as well as Bluetooth. And you notice a little side bar here, that is, uh, a little panel that you can go up and down in. So right now we're seeing navigation, but it's not the, on the main screen because we haven't touched on it. You can see that it's highlighted here, that red uh, little line there, that's just a protective screen cover. So let's go into the navigation. The map will come up, you can choose your destination. And then we have our settings that we can go into. You can slide through, display, you can change the look of this. You can dim it out if you want. General's got the measurements in there plus the language. And then you have your hotspot, your software updates and so forth. So you can click on any of those and you can go up and down in this side menu as well for whatever you want to get. And then in your features, you've got your owner's manual, towing, running boards and driver assistance. So you mentioned, I mentioned that you have power deployed running boards. So if you wanted to make changes to that, you can go in here under running board modes. You can turn them off auto. So as it detects you, it pops them out. And then when you get in, it pops them back underneath or you can have them out all the time. It's up to you or you can actually put a timer on it. So there's different modes that you can put it in. Auto stop start for less idle time. You have your tra your hazard lights, traction control. Here's your camera. Now I'm not in gear and I've just touched on the camera. So this gives us a view. This is out the front and then we can just press it again to go out of there, volume and tuner, and then dual climate control, heated and cooled seats for driver and passenger, as well as a heated steering wheel, your AC and max AC, front and rear defrost, your fans in the center, and then we have a nice little cubby here. You have a wireless charging pad, USB-C and USB. And there's your shifter, and it's a select shifter. You have your four by four with drive mode. I'm gonna get into that in a moment, this hill descent and you also have your parking sensors. So drive mode, let's dial through that and see what we get. So there's normal, slippery, sand, mud ruts, and we can go back around. You notice the icons change, eco, sport, and tow haul. So as road conditions and weather conditions change, you can adapt by dialing through your drive modes for the drive mode that you want. And you've got a couple of cup holders there. Your armrest opens up. Lots of room in here and a 12 volt down below plus more storage area. And then you've got your 12 volt. You have two glove compartments. The lower one's locking, the other one releases from there. Grab handle in the body. You have an auto dimming rear view mirror, lighting controls, universal garage door opener, sunglass holder. And we have this nice power twin panel moonroof as well as screens. I'm not gonna open it, it's wet today. But what happens is when we press the button for this, that por first portion of the moonroof will slide back and the back glass is fixed. Now, once it's closed and you wanna close up that um, cover there, 
that goes across the screen, it can stop part way or go all the way across, whatever you need. And you're ready to go. Two inch wheels, power deployed running boards, body color door handle, keyless entry keypad, driver's side capless, easy fuel gas filler. There's a spoiler in the rear as well as a windshield wiper. And below the expedition badges where your backup camera is located, backup sensors on your bumper. And when you're ready to open up that lift gate, you just double click your fob. It'll power it open for you. You can also give it a kick. If your hands are full or you're feeling a little playful, you've got lighting and hooks off to the side as well as a 12 volt. You've got this all weather mat that goes in the third row and we have a nice little bin underneath as well as your jack. And then off to the side is the power second row and third row for seats and more clips and bins. And then when you wanna close it up, you do have a handle on the right. You can use the button or again, you can give it a kick. And then it's gonna to chime to let you know it's going down securely and then you can lock it up and walk away jump in and head out on your latest adventure and on your fob you have remote start storage and speaker in the door as well as power windows grab handle in the body there's seating for three in this row and these seats are a 35 30 35 split so you can make a lot of different variations in what you want to do so there's a lever down at the bottom that folds it flat you can also pull the tab at the back here and then it flips it forward and slides it ahead making it easier to get into the third row which also has seating for three with a 60-40 uh, split and then you've also got anchors on the back of the seat to be able to tether baby seats and just slide the seat back into its seated position and there's carpeted mats on the floor slim pockets on the back of the front seat and you're seeing a couple of cup holders you also have heated seats back here your climate control you've got a 110 volt as well you have your USB-C and USB nice twin panel moonroof up top and this is powered along with a power screen. You also have handles and hooks and you're ready to go. Hands-free power lift gate in the rear, privacy glass in the back windows, roof rails, adjustable side view mirrors, auto high beams, fog lights, front camera, and many more features. If you like this video and would like to see more, please subscribe. We have plenty to share with you and we love to hear your comments.